go. Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to another version of a Trini in Atlanta. Today we are making curry duck, jasmine rice, because you know I love my jasmine rice. And I'm still making some aloo roti. Um, I have some leftovers, potatoes, I have made some aloo pie, and I have some flour, so I'm going to make some roti to go with my curry duck. And don't knock it until you try it, I'm going to make some baked beans with my curry, because I like baked beans and, or red beans and curry. So today I'm going to do that. So sit back and let's do some cooking. So is this considered a Sunday lunch? No, not, not necessarily, but I, I cook in the week uh, uh, anything I want. And so Sunday is whatever I feel to because we have food in the restaurant. I don't cook in the restaurant anymore. I have two male cooks, one who make, make the roti, one who does the cooking. So, so I don't have to cook anymore. So I do a lot of my meals there. So whenever I am feeling to eat something, I cook it. I can't tell you what it was, when I'm feeling to eat it, but I will cook it. If it's 12 o'clock in the night, I will cook it. <laughs> That's fantastic. My husband, my husband knows that he said, God, get you no rest. No, not really. Cooking relaxes me. So I cook all the time. So now I have the water here boiling for the rice with some salt. I'm going to wash the rice maybe three times and then leave it soaking while the water is coming up to boil. So here we go. I, I think the more you wash the rice, the quicker it cooks because it gets a lot of the, the starchy stuff that, that that will be the white stuff out of it. So I think mean, that's just my tip. So I just keep washing it until I think it's good. And all that kind of polish that they polish the rice so it to look so nice. At least we get out some of it before we cook it. Now there are some people who don't wash the rice, and that's fine too. But I like to wash it. So here we go. We wash it three times, and then just in a little, I'm going to leave it right here for a little minute until that water comes up to boil before it. So now I'm going to turn this on because I'm going to curry the duck. I have the duck season here. I season it. My husband cut it up yesterday and we season it. I have it marinated in the Trini seasoning. The bandania and the cilantro and the garlic and the onions and some ginger and some hot pepper. I put one hot pepper. I'm not going to put any more because I don't want it to be too spicy. Some pimento, some tomatoes. And then I have some Trini duck curry here. So I have some duck curry that I use. I have some duck curry. I have some and char masala, I have some ground jeera, roasted ground jeera, and I have some turmeric. So I have that as well, and I already put that inside here while I was marinated. So I'm going to add some, I'm going to make some noise because I have to put my fan on so that my house wouldn't only smell a curry and the fire extinguisher, the fire alarm wouldn't go off. So I'm putting maybe a tablespoon of curry yeah, um, um, oil, avocado oil, sorry. And then I'm going to cut up some onions. Cut up some onions here. Just enough to use as, just put it inside there. Uh, there's an Indian word, I think it's poo, poo run. Yeah, somebody knows it better, you can correct me. Put that inside there and let that fry up a little bit. Then, when that is almost done, maybe a minute or so, I'll add some garlic to it before I add the rest of stuff to cook the curry. Now, as if you saw my last curry chicken video, you would know I said curry is my favorite Trini curry. I like all kinds of curry, but Trini curry is my favorite thing to cook. So, I'm going to cook with that now. So, what other types of curry you enjoy? I like Indian curry, the one from um, India, these are the, and I love Thai curry. Any favorite of the Thai curry? Red curry is awesome. Excellent. But, and not too spicy because Thai people can get carried away <laughs> and you can't eat the food when you're done. Because this week was my sister's birthday and we went to a Thai restaurant and listen, I thought two was being okay. But two was so hot, I couldn't eat it. And my other sisters are my three and four. And here we're dying too. So you see, I put some garlic. 
I put some garlic in now and I'm letting it saute a little bit. Like that. And now I am going to add a little bit of the anchor masala. We did the, the anchor masala, the duck curry. Maybe about three tablespoons of duck curry. If I add some to season already, some roasted cumin, ground cumin, and some cinnamon. And then, I think I want a little more curry. A little more curry. So we can see a amount of duck. The whole duck may be four pounds. And then, I'm going to let this kind of patch here for 30 seconds. I have some water that we just made some fresh seasoning with. So I'm going to use that and fry it down here and let this let's probably cook through. Let it cook through perfect. So it will it roast it, patch, and now it's cooking through. So, I hope you love curry because you will see a ton of curry. Maybe not only this. My next video maybe is curry lamb. People think curry lamb is strange because we grew up on curry goat, but curry lamb is pretty awesome. So you have no problem with Mary having a little lamb? Um, no. Nope. I okay. love okay. lamb. Okay. It's my favorite meat to do it anyway. I love it too. I love it curry. I love lamb chops. I don't care too much for big lamb. But lamb chops, curry lamb or stew lamb and if you're making stew lamb you have to make noodles and rice because that's how my dad used to like it and that's how we grew up knowing stew lamb with some kind of noodles and rice you can make a beans I like red beans but you can make any kind of bean that you like with it some people put potatoes sometimes I do sometimes I don't but in the restaurant we put potatoes we put butter beans isn't that the big ones? If that yes. is the big beans? Yes. No, we put, I have other names as well. Okay. But butter beans. Well, we put butter beans in the stew lamb we have at the restaurant. And carrot. It's a big seller. People love it. People love lamb. So, we do a stew lamb because we do a curry goat. So, we do a stew lamb at the restaurant. So, you see how this is cooking down? It is cooking down because it's, 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 it's as we call patching down, frying down. So that it's cooking while it's going and because it's a duck curry you know it is, and i put all the cumin and the anchar masala and everything it's gotten very dark which is what you want when you're doing a good nice stuff and then it will start as you see it's separating out so all of this is what you want in this beautiful sunday afternoon That is done. So I'm going to add the the goat, the duck. Sorry, I'm thinking about duck. I'm thinking about goat, but I'm going to add the duck. A very seasoned what? Cut up what? Cut as much cut as you want to take out, and skin comes out of it. Think about me. I do not have an outside stove to roast the duck so instead of roasting it which i know some people do and that's nice i like that too i love that but i just take as much skin off as i can the things kind of change when you get the when you get out of trinidad the things that you take for granted in trinidad you can't take for granted anywhere always florida maybe but georgia there's not a lot of outside cooking happening in georgia because it we are not year-round warm. I mean, Florida gets a little bit cold, but nothing in compare with Georgia getting cold. So, one day I put an outside kitchen. I'm getting there gradually, but um, we have just moved into this house maybe three years ago, so we haven't done everything. For the most part, we had to build it over. So, we're getting there. One day I take you outside and we cook up. So here I put everything in here, and. 
We are letting it cook down. You see how that's looking? I know you think you can eat it now, but we have to let it cook first. And then we can eat it. But this is just a little bit in the restaurant and cook a lot more because duck is something most shouldn't have done. That's one of the first things you have. You have any curry that they get? So, there you go. This part, I'm going to make some baked beans. So I have some baked beans here and I'm going to do some baked beans. Now, unlike red beans, but it's two red beans, you want to add some sugar. Baked beans are sweet enough already, so you really don't add a lot of sugar in baked beans. What you do, you add some veggies, whatever you like. In my case, I'm adding some, I'm adding some pimentos, some onions, some tomatoes, some garlic, and this, and then I'll add some ketchup and I'll make some red beans. So I'm cutting the tomatoes up. I know it's small tomatoes and some of them you don't need to cut it up. But I like it, I don't like big chunks of it. As I was telling you, I don't like big chunks of tomatoes and meat. I like everything kind of small and uniform and looking pretty. I like it like this. So it's not a lot of beans, it's only like a small can. So I'm, I'm not going to do a lot of veggies. I'm just going to put like a quarter of an onion, cut up fine. And about five small cherry tomatoes and two pimentos. I'm not going to add any hot pepper to this because not everything in your life needs to have hot pepper. I am I'm saying you can also add some pepper on top if you want some pepper. Now I'm not looking at you much because I don't want to cut my fingers. So I'm looking at this as I'm cutting this up, giving you an idea of what we can have. Um, I know everybody has dal and people love dal and rice and duck and me too. Sometimes I just like to mix it up a little bit. So I'm putting a little oil, avocado oil, with just about a teaspoon, not a lot. And then I'm putting these veggies into that. Just to give it a little salty. Just to give it a little salty. And I'm going to give it a little salty here. See, the pot was very hot. And I went in, so it's already the tomato and everything is loosened. So I'm just going to let this cook down for about two or three minutes so that the onions could kind of soften up before we add the baked bean stage. Now, I couldn't get the vegetarian baked beans, so I took the one with the pork, so I'm just going to take it out. But I don't like the, I like the flavor, I don't like the taste of the, of the pork in it. So let's just look at this arm. Before you don't want it to, to burn. So I'm going to turn this down now. I'm going to cover it and I'm going to let it let go all that fresh water that is coming in. Okay, so I'm going to cover it down. Cover it down here. And I'm going to turn it to medium heat. Yeah. I'm just going to let it cover now. While I'm doing that, this water is not come up to a boil yet, but it's almost ready. And the and, and garden rice doesn't take but minutes to cook, so that shouldn't take so long to finish while I'm doing that. Would you like a beer, my love, while you're making some lunch? Nope, I'm Sorry. fine. Thank you, though. I'm going to have a little something. Absolutely. I'm going to have some coconut water in the bag. I'm going to have a little. A little pasta. Let me taste the water and it's good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
That is so good. That is so good. This this pomegranate vodka, this syrup is really good. Look at that. You don't want a lot. We want to get good with the vodka for lunch. Let's have a good Oh, that is so good. That is so good. That is awesome. Anyway, so, so this is ready. I'm going to add the big cream to this. Add the big cream to this. Add the big cream to this. This doesn't want a lot of cooking. You just want to. Now, with all the three, right? together, I'm going to add, I like slap your mama in everything. Because it has all the, the this, this is this one pot stuff. A little black pepper. A little touch of garlic, not a lot. Just a little pepper of dry garlic. And of course, no house, no trinity house is complete for beans without a little bit of golden ring. You need to have a little bit of golden ring. They went and changed the packaging on me. So, so do you find getting Caribbean products in Georgia to be a challenge? No, no, not, a, a, not really. There is a, um, a, a few places. I have one special. One, a, a friend of mine owned um, Georgetown. I have been going to him for a long time. And over the years, Delroy and I have become friends. So when, if I'm not getting something, I can call him and say, you know, I want so-and-so and he'll get it for me. He takes care of all my Caribbean needs like that. Friendships are important, aren't they? Yep, when you make, you have to make I'm guessing um, you have a wood thing when you, I can't think of it now, but you, they say it takes a village. It, it takes a village even to run a restaurant. One in a place as Georgia where there is not a lot of Caribbean, at least a lot of the trees, as much as the other islands. Because even for staff, even for staff, for, you had to go to other islands because they weren't matrini. So we have a mixture of the Caribbean attacks. So we don't only have Trinis working for us. We have, um, with us, we have Jamaicans and we have a few Trinis. And we, we've had other people like people from St. Lucia over the years. But right now we have Trinis and Jamaicans. And they work together well. So I think this should be good. I'm going to add a little bit of the seasoned water. Just a little bit, so you don't need a lot of... I don't think you need bandania in, in red beans. I really don't. But bandania is, uh, is it DNA? Is it yeah, DNA, Trader? And, and it is. That's why I'm losing some of the water. <laughs> See, I am still using it in a different form. By the way, happy birthday, David Rodder. Oh yes, this weekend is David Rada and Trinidad birthday party. Yep. Okay. I love your music. I love your music. I love, love, love your music. You, you are still the greatest to me. No offense to you, Marsha. You are awesome, but David Rada is still my favorite. Okay, so this is completely totally done you don't need anything more than this nothing more the red bean is cooked it's a little bit saucy so you can still dip it if you're eating rice with it i'm going to eat some of the aloo roti with it or potato roti but this you see this is done so i am done with this so and i'm going to turn this off and i'm going to empty these um, I'm going to empty this. It's bold, so we are done with this for today.
This water is ready. Boil it away. Let's wait for the light. One more time. Again, I am going to add this rice into this pot. Here. And this rice is already salted. The water was already salted. So this is just going to cook for the next 10 to 15 minutes until it's completely done. All right, then I'm going to check this duck. Can you see it's like going water there? So, see all the ends of it? So, continue to cook. So nice and thick. So when you make it, you'll get nice or what? So, we are done. I'm going to put this away because I'm done with all these for today. I'm not going to use these again, so I'm just going to meet up here so that you can see what I'm doing. So I'm going to clear this up a little bit. Put it right here. Yeah, I'm done with these. So now I'm going to fold it. So, I have to say this, for those people who are going to criticize me, keep it nice. For those people who are going to tell me that I'm cooking with my jewelry and I'm cooking with my long nails, I am cooking for my husband and myself. And I, I, I've gotten to the point where the jewelry and the long nails is part of my personality. The restaurant, the chefs are men they do not have jewelry and they do not have long nails so there is nothing to criticize them but for me this is who i am this is, if you if you ever get to know me you will realize this is a big part of me so i, I at one time i was known as the at one time i was known as the lady who cooked with the high heels i used to cook with the high heels so I am. So sorry if it offends you up right now. But once I was on TV for a, for a cooking show and the lady said, I will never eat at your restaurant because you have polished nails. And I said, I wasn't going to cook at the restaurant that day. But when the people came to film, they just asked me to step in so people could see that I can do it as well. And that's how that happened. If I knew that I was going to be on the show that day, I wasn't going to, I was going to wear gloves. I was going to but it happened how it happened and I apologize. But for now I'm not apologizing for this because this is my home. This is my home, this is not my business. So, I know it is, my mother used to say it could please everybody sometimes, but you can't please everybody all the time. Thank you all very much for even looking at me. So right now we are still cooking the duck, the rice is cooking, I do not need the, the bowl in there anymore, so I'm going to put it back into the refrigerator, I do not need the garlic or the onion or any of these anymore, so these things are going to go away now, so that we have, we have more space to do with something here. I'm going to stick everything that I've already used into the dishwasher so it would not um, it would be here where everything is to cut up. I not all these things and they go into the dishwasher. So we have space to move around for the for the other. We're done with that, so more space. We're done with this oil. Now it's going to clean the oil. So, okay, so the rice is here cooking. I have that going here. The rice is going. 
I'm done with this spoon. Help this up. Okay. Okay. I'm going to knead, finish knead the flour. I've started to knead the flour. In fact, they have the flour, the baking powder, sugar and salt. Because I'm going to make the potato roti. So I'm going to give it a little beat again. Combine it together. Just going to make about four potatoes. Whatever time is it? It's not lunch again. But so this meal. Because you know on the Sunday, the restaurant is not open. So we doesn't have to start our day very early. When the restaurant is early, I wouldn't like to you. I don't, but my husband starts early. So, this is we're going to put so it's a little bit sticky because we don't want it too hard. Roll it in a little, roll it in a little bit of the dry flour, and then yeah. my tower is really, really small, so I can't make very big rotis. So I'm just going to make about four of these. And, um, and I'll be good. That'll be enough for us for today. It's just, it's just both of us, so that'll be more than enough of us for today. And you wonder why I need so much of flour? I don't know either. <laughs> I just don't know. I have 10 brothers and sisters. And I always do things in a large amount because most of them live around me. So you never know when one will drop in. So even if it's not cooked, it's there to cook. And even they cook it themselves if I am not available. So they will always have something to eat. Because I have a huge family. And I have, oh God, maybe 35, 40 brothers and sisters, nieces and nephews, grandkids, brother in laws living around. Maybe 40, could be more. But if you have a family gathering here, my house is too small. So it's a lot of us. So it's nice though. It's nice to have somebody, to have people around because you're never alone. I don't know if my husband would think that's a good thing, but um, mm -hmm. I like it. So I want to say something to the people out there who are looking at me. Things happen, things happen without you expecting. And it is extremely difficult when you have to deal with it. People look after your health. This weekend was supposed to be a special weekend for my family. My husband's family and my family. We were supposed to have a wedding. It didn't happen because we had a tragedy in the family that was not expected. I mean, it was awful. Have some checkups. Go get some checkups. Even if you have to wait in the hospital, I know sometimes it's not the easiest thing, but the, 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 it is difficult for you when you are gone, when you leave the people, it's difficult for the people behind that you have left. Because for us, we does not know. We don't know how to deal with the loss. So please go get some checkup. If the doctor tells you have high blood pressure, take your medication, please. If they tell you you have diabetes, I'm diabetic and I try to take care of my med my medication as the best I can. I try to eat as healthy as I can. Even in this flour, you know, this is unbleached or purpose flour. I try to not do as much as I can. It's not always possible, but I try to do the best that I can. So here am I, I'm using the potatoes. This is the same recipe that you use in an aloo pie. It's boiled potatoes, cumin, garlic, some grated onions, and some salt. That is my recipe, nothing else. I don't put anything else in that. And, uh, and then the flour I need, and I'm just, it, it's just like an a, a aloo pie that you're going to roll out in roti form, in roti format. But if you want, you can use it as an aloo pie too. Because the ingredients, that's the ingredients I use is the same. 
I know a lot of people I'll say again, a lot of people like my pandanya in everything. I I the I was not a, my mother when I was when she was teaching us to cook, my mother was not a big, 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 big fan of banana. So we never learned to cook like this. And over the years we have gotten accustomed to cooking all these things with the, and some and omit banana and some of the stuff. So I apologize if it's not what, but to go feel free. You, if you could add some uh, some grated grind bandania to this, chopped bandania, anyhow that you want to add it, it will taste great. It's just, I don't know. I haven't cooked with it, so I don't know how it will taste in it because I have never done it. So here we have four. Now, I'm not saying that it will be as easy as this for you, because I have been doing it for so long, it's the second skin to me. It's a second skin. I can talk to you and do this and think, okay, well, I'm done. All I have to do is to cook it out. And I know people say, what she just did, I took the flour that I need in the I'm not going to need flour in my hands if I have a food, if I have a, a mixer. I'm sorry, I'm not going to show you how to do that. I have done that. I have 10 brothers and sisters. I have done that. So I am not going to. to, 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 to Need flour. I have a, 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 a mixer. You put some flour, baking powder, salt, and a little sugar, some warm water, and you let that sucker go. <laughs> and then you do the same thing. You peel some potato, you boil it. Oh, I like it with mine. It have a, it have a potato, it have a potato um, button. You just press the baked potato button and you let that sucker go. And it, it, it cooks. Then you, you peel it, you smash it. You can even smash it in that mixer. But I smash it with my hand, and then I add the grind garlic and, the, and everything to it. And that's all. You don't need to be, you don't have to pretend that you're living back in the day when your parents didn't have a food processor. You have a food processor, use it. You modernize roti making? Yes, because I have a food processor and tassel. I can cook roti for, for, for hundreds of people every day without a food processor. Then the woman will tell me that they need a flour. And the boy that need the flour, the boy that make the roti, I got to always be right out of food. So that's what we do. So for now, I'm going to wash my hands. I'm going to check on the dust. I was born in Bath, so if you see me something like this, it's because I was born in deep South Trinidad. Yes, you, make, you make no apologies for it. I, and I don't. <laughs> I, I am proud of who I am. I was born in Bath, I got married in Orpuch, that's just before Faisabad. And I've been married, I met my husband in 1983. We got married in 86 and we've been together ever since. We have a 35 year old daughter. Dania, she's a joy. She is the joy of our lives. We don't have any grandchildren. They made a decision for themselves that they didn't want any kids. And I understood that. She is married to an American guy, a really fine young man. So, my brothers and sisters have grandkids. So, for me, it's just like if it's mine. This is still boiling, so what I'm going to do is turn up the heat now a little bit and let it start frying. Because I think that is as much water as is going to come out of this. That's as much as it looks good. delicious. Thank you, my love. So, marriage is hard work. Really? Not is hard work, <laughs> but it is worth it. Nothing that is worth it is easy. Trust me when I say that. Nothing that is worth it is easy. So I'm going to show you my baby tower. <laughs> I have a baby tower. That's it there. It's a baby. You get the job done, right? Yes. Well, really, I have no choice. This is what I have. I have a baby tower. This green seasoning, I'm leaving. I'm leaving this for the... Um, for the duck. But that's just some water that we use 
My husband, he was when he was making the seasoning yesterday. He used some water here. So we got it. And I'm going to look for a cover now. Just a cover that uh, beans. Just a cover these beans. For a total meal. That is done here. This is cooking. This is cooking. This towel is here. I'm going to get some. Uh, So the mixture of a little ghee and a little avocado oil. And so is this something you do or is this something no, that is generally is done? People could do it. Some people only use oil when they're making it. Some people use and please people do remember to remove the cover <laughs> Metal stuff in a microwave on is no fun. Yeah, you can do it yourself. My husband is just reminding you all that I make mistakes of time to time. I look perfect, but I'm not. <laughs> when, when I decide, before I say that, I'll show you how this is, how this is starting wow. to fry down. We haven't put water in it for it to boil, but this is just the first water that is boiling. I'm going to add water for it to fry down, and then it'll be done because it's a shop dock, so it's not a hard dock. It's a shop dock, so it is not a hard dock. So I am going to, um, to add water to it in a second, and then that'll be good. Let me just turn this to make sure this is still cooking. Yep, this is still cooking. Still cooking, and this is fine. This is almost ready for um, for water. Give it a couple minutes again. It's ready for water. Now, this I am going to move over to this side. I'm going to move this over to this side. I'm going to move the salt and pepper shaker, and then I'm going to put the four rotis right here because it is easier for me to work on this side because the tower is right here. So it's easier for me to work on this side. So this will be here in a little while. When I decided, I was saying earlier on, when I decided to start doing these videos, I wanted to do these videos for two reasons. For people to see that outside of Atlanta, out of Trinidad, the, the, the ones of us who the trainees, few trainees of us surviving, trying to survive, to do things that is, that is our culture from home that we are custom doing. And I wanted people to see Casa because a lot of people don't realize that outside of Atlanta, outside of New York and Miami, there are other restaurants, there are other people, there are other a little body of Trinidadians that is outside of just because people think about Trinis and they think about Miami and they think about Atlanta because I have seen videos where people come to do reviews on people in Trinidad, but they only go to Miami or Fort Lauderdale and they only go to New York or Queens or Brooklyn or that. But there are other Trinidadians that live outside of those places. So the reason why I wanted to do those videos was that, to show people that there are other people doing it other places and not only in the big, big cities. When we made the decision to come to Atlanta, we made a decision from Trinidad and my best friend was living, still lives here. And so you see, it's ready for the water. So it's 
ready? I have some hot water that I boiled earlier on that I am going to put here. I'm not going to put a whole bunch because as I said to you, I'm not sure how far, if the duck is hard. I doubt it is because it's a farm duck. So I doubt it is a hard duck. And if I put too much water, the duck gets, the duck gets to be soft over soft. And it doesn't feel like duck anymore. Put a little bit of seasoning water. Let me turn on back there, fine? Okay. And uh, and that was the reason why I decided to do these videos. That was the main reason for people to see that they are few of us. But my husband and my daughter said to me, do not try to be somebody that you are not. Try to be yourself, do not try. There are people who are going to complain, there are people who are going to love you. Try to be yourself. If there's something you want to see, Put it down in the comments when you subscribe or like. You could only comment if you subscribe or like. So put it down in the comments if you please. And I can try to fix that. If you want to ask me something, feel free about Atlanta. You know, we're getting the World Cup. Atlanta is going to have the World Cup. We are expecting millions and millions of people. That's 2026, right? Yep. So there's not going to be. This is done. See, the rice is done. There's not going to be enough room for everybody. That doesn't say I'm inviting you to my house. <laughs> but if you are coming to Atlanta, feel free to come and look for us at Tassa. We have to have room. But um, I think I'm going to have a house full because some of our best friends are still in Trinidad. And um, his name is Lennox. Let us hold it and his family, yeah. our closest friends, and they are going to come up and hoping for the World Cup. So, we are expecting loads and loads of fun friends to come out. I'm going to strain this rice. This is done. I'm going to take this out, and I'm going to strain this rice now. You, have, you, have, you obviously have some skills that was safely executed. Thank you. I have been doing, I have been cooking since I was 11. <laughs> my mom, my mom had business, my parents had business, and you know, as I said, I had 10 brothers and sisters. <laughs> I had 11. One died when they were very little. So there's five before me, five after me. I'm the middle child. Guess who got it? Guess who got it? I had to learn to cook by the time I was 11 to be able to do this. So you see, this is a rolling boil, what we call it. A rolling boil. And this is cooking here. This feels good. Then after it fries down, I'm going to, now while that is doing, I'm going to turn this on. I'm going to hot this. This is hot. See, it's melting. So I'm going to put this here, and I'm going to turn that up and get me a brush. I'm going to get a brush. So this is a brush. I'm going to turn it on. I think I have another brush here. I have to make sure. Okay, so I'm going to turn the gear together with the avocado oil to combine it together because the gear is heavier, so it's sitting underneath it. The gear is heavier than the oil. Plus the gear was cold, so it's sitting at the bottom of the Okay. Now, do that. Stick this into the dishwasher one time. There's nothing left to be done when I am done. And here it is. I was looking for another brush that I knew I had. So, here it is. And then I'm going to start. While that, while that is cooking, the duck is finishing, I'm going to start making the aloo roti or the aloo curry or whatever it is. I'm not going to roll it, open it too big because my tower is small and I don't want to, it airs out of the tower and 
So this is what I'm going to do. Make it small. So yeah, getting back to the World Cup. I hope to see you all in Atlanta in 2026. I don't know if a lot of you are aware, but Shaq Moore is, is played for the United States team and his parents are Tobagonians. So you can be proud of yourself. We have one of our own playing at the World Cup level for the United States. And I've noticed my husband was telling me up to yesterday, we, there are some other people who live in Atlanta as well, who kids are getting there. Yeah. They have um, some of the guys just made some of the coach. He won coach of the year for some stuff. I can't remember everything. My husband is keeping his mind for me. But there are people who are doing that and there's a lot of, of Atlanta trainees, trainees in Atlanta who is doing big things. The kids are making them proud with what it is. I have this this um this friend of mine. Um very very nice guy. He was instrumental in stopping the shoe bomber. His name is Kwame James. When the guy had the bum in his shoes on the way to from, from Paris, there was this Trinidad guy, Trinidadian guy who was on the plane and he was most instrumental. He was most instrumental in helping stop the bomber. He is, he is a wonderful, wonderful guy. His son just made it to the NBA. So what I'm saying is that even if out of Trinidad, we are we are doing it up. We Trinis take our talent and our love for whatever we do anywhere. We take it anywhere we are going. So that is just some of the things I remember at the top of my head, but there is so many, so many. That um, the younger generation, I said to my husband last night, I wouldn't be so shocked if one of our this generation makes it to the White House. It is so proud of the Trinidadians are, are doing things, they're doing it up. I still have my coconut water in my cup. But that's what I'm saying. At the end of the day, I'm going to turn this on because I don't want my cake to go. And that's it, I'm going to start here. See, it's a perfect size. If I do it any bigger, it's not going to be fun for me. So, and that's it. So, when you add in places, when you're thinking of places to come to for vacation, think about Atlanta. We have, to start with, we have the world's largest aquarium. The aquarium here. We have the Martin Luther King Center, home of Coca-Cola, can't forget that, can't forget them, nice, you can come and visit all of them things. And of course, if you are coming to, to Atlanta, you have to come to Tassa. You can't not come to Tassa if you are coming. There's this lady, um, I look at in New York, her name is Cooking with Rhea. She can cook. I'm telling you, that woman can cook. And that woman does her thing. And I look at people to see if I really believe what they're doing. She's never disappointed me yet when I'm looking at her. This is done. This is done here. Okay? Turn on this one. And I'm going to wipe this again. Just keep it here. Turn it down while I cook the other one. Uh, the other one. Or roll up. The other one. And take care of that. 
like this now. If you have a bigger tower, you could make it bigger. I I have to get me, I've been saying I will get me a bigger tower. I haven't got the wrong tape, but soon I have to go to George Trump Farmer's Market by my friend Elroy, and he have them, and I'm going to get, I'm going to pick up one and I'll go by him soon. I think I need it now. And this is ready, so I'm going to throw it in here, turn back on the heat, and let this start to cook. So, I was home, I was home in April, but I told you that's a sad occasion, because as I was warning everybody to please look after themselves, and I went to some restaurants in Trinidad, and boy, we can cook. We Trini people, I love to go home. Maybe not to see people as much as I love to go home to eat. Nothing I eat home. Nothing I eat home is disappointing. I went to this place on um, on Cipero, Cipero Street for some barbecue. Cipero Road. Um, the original, Road. I think. That's the name? Cipero Road. Cipero Road. Boy, boy, yeah, yeah. You know what? I went home for five days, but I went there twice. The food was so good. I had to go back twice. And they will definitely. I went to, um, I don't know what's the name, but when I was there, it was Jenny's, Jenny's Walk. And I think it's just right there on Sapphire Street as well. I don't know if it's the walk or something. The food was good, everything was good. My husband took me to a place in Sapphire Road, and that's where that road is, the Sapphire Road, for some roti men. Let me tell you, I have a roti shop for boy, then people could throw it down. Trinidad, the food, the food is amazing. The food is amazing in Trinidad. I guess that's why we're so cocky when it comes to eating. Because we know, we know that we have um, we have some really, really good food. We have some really awesome food. So I think by the time this um broke is this, these rotis are done. I think the duck will be ready. Sometimes when I cook duck, I put pigeon peas in it. Most of the time, I put pigeon peas in it because I don't want to cook a second pot. But um, today I was just feeling to eat something else with it. So I made some baked beans. But you can put pigeon peas in it and it tastes good. I, um, I know the Guyanese put potatoes in theirs. And I assume that would be good. I have never tried it. So I can't tell you how it tastes with potatoes. But I assume it will be just as good. Because every culture have their own, their own way of cooking and everything is always is good. I've never really had something bad to say well. That food is really, really, really bad. I can't say I have. Well, I'm not going back there because that food was bad. Because I'm a foodie, eh? I'm a foodie. My husband is not as much because I'm, um, but he 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 supports me. So, but me, I like to taste everything. I like to go and eat everything. Taste everything and eat everything. I'm going to make a special video for you all. I'm going to make a special video for you all because I'm heading to the Arctic Circle at the 4th of July. Now, don't laugh at me. You must you never hear a Trini girl going up to the Arctic Circle. But uh, it's something I've wanted to do. And as I was telling you, my husband encourages my one. So he's taking me to see my daughter and her husband. My husband and myself, we are going up to Alaska. And... Uh, we are going to see the Arctic Circle. Let me tell you something about going to see the Arctic Circle. Don't expect any hotel and don't expect restaurant. You are cooking your own food and you rent a truck. You rent a truck and you have, there's a store in the truck and there is a fridge in the truck and there is a... Um, 
this is done. I'm gonna turn this off. I'm gonna taste it first. But before I take before I I'm gonna turn this off so I can finish this. And then I can tell you if this is done. So do you like a hard duck? Do you like a tough duck with a little pull? Yep. Do you like soft duck? Tough, tough with a little pull. Duck okay. is not supposed to okay. you see? It's cutting into that. So like a little, is, a little resistance. Yeah. Duck is not supposed to be so soft where it's like chicken. This is not chicken. Okay, it have a little spice. That one pepper did it. Anything more than that, and I wouldn't have been able to eat it. Mm. Welcome. All right. Definitely. Lunch is on. Definitely. 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 Oh, good. Mm. And then it's a farm duck. So that is completely done. So it doesn't have to cook for long. forward to going to see what it is so because every year Tasa closes for a week sometimes two at the 4th of July because it's the one time everybody get to have vacation together the entire staff and inside that most of the time my husband used that opportunity to do building repairs if the, the restaurant one painting the floors one fixing something like that she takes the time to do stuff like that so i am um, i have a brother here and he's a contractor his name is parker and he takes care of stuff like that so i don't necessarily have to be here for to have it done my husband will get together with my brother my brother will take care of his stuff and then the rest of us who is home who is not working like my one of my brothers who helped me in the kitchen or my sister-in-law all of us all of the, they will head home for a week or two this year this year we are taking two weeks off so they are going to head home for two weeks and we are going to head to the arctic circle for a week and see how that is so i'll make some videos there and take you along to the arctic circle so you can see we have a hotel and we have a restaurants and you'll see us cooking outdoors and having some fun thank you very much for joining us leave your comments below because my husband and i are going to have some lunch appreciate you love you all thank you bye